please talk about what we're seeing on taproot.watch so far. Can a bad state actor stop 90% from being reached? I've heard there's a user activated soft fork if we don't hit 1815. Any details would be appreciated. Can I help to somehow reach 90%? Thanks. That's a great question. Let's look at what Penn and Teller are talking about here. You see here, um, Penn and Teller mentioned taproot.watch. There we go. All right. Can you see that? This is a website called taproot.watch. And taproot.watch shows us the current activation. So this is a website that tracks the information that is present in the blocks. Now, basically every Bitcoin node out there, every Bitcoin client, every Bitcoin miner is seeing the same information. And this website is tracking it for you so you can visualize it and see it. Every 2016 blocks from the Genesis block, we have a difficulty period. And that's the period in which difficulty gets readjusted every 2016 blocks. So within that period, we that's a signaling period. We use the same two week period to do a round of voting. So in the current round of voting, what you can see here is out of the 2016 blocks that are in the current round, you see that 963 blocks have signaled yes. That means those blocks had within their version number, they had a yes. And you can see that here, like if you look at this green block, right? And I can actually click on this. This one was mined by F2 pool and this is a clickable button. So uh, let's click on it and see what happens. It's kind of it's kind of cool. So uh, this takes us to a website that is tracking blocks. If you look at the version number of the block, you see here that it is signaling taproot. So the version number of this block is signaling taproot. And you can see that by clicking on that block. I don't know if did the screen change. It did screen. It did change. That's that's good. All right. Going back here. And if we, if we look at this other block here from btc.com and I open this one and you see there's a different version number in there, that version number is not signaling taproot. Okay, so really simple. It's it's a 2016 block period. That's all of these blocks, these squares you see here. The ones that have already happened are the ones that are colored in. If they were signaling, they're green. If they're not signaling, they're red. And the ones that are empty, they these blocks haven't happened yet. Once the last block of the period, which would be block 685439, is mined, then we start from the top again and we have another signaling period. Now, interesting here, in order for Taproot to be activated within a signaling period, 1815 or 1815 blocks, 90% need to signal yes. And we can tell if, if 296 have signaled no within this period, that means that even if all of the ones coming next were yes, we still wouldn't hit 90%. And that's why it says here, Taproot cannot be locked in within this period. So next period, we'll see if we can reach it. Now, I want you to pay attention to something else. Look at the percentage of red versus green blocks at the beginning of the signaling period. And when we started two weeks ago in the previous signaling period, it was a lot of red. And gradually, the percentage of green started increasing. And once a mining pool goes to green, they tend to stay at green. So we're seeing a greater percentage. Now, look what happens as the signaling period continues. Do you see something? You may notice that the number of red blocks has dropped dramatically. And if you look at where we are here, now we've got a very big percentage of the blocks. So what we're looking for is only less than one in 10 blocks being red. If nine out of 10 blocks come in green, then we're gonna activate. So it looks like we're heading for activation pretty soon, maybe next period, maybe the period after that. And we have until August. So I think that's going to happen. Honestly, it looks very positive right now. There doesn't seem to be a lot of controversy. And of course, one thing to keep in mind here is that we can see which miners are activating and we can see which miners are holding back. Uh, or mining pools are holding back. So ironically, what's going to happen here is if uh, there's one or two holdouts, they're going to start getting all kinds of pressure from the community. Now back to Penn and uh, Teller's question. So first of all, can a bad state actor stop 90% from being reached? State actor that control the mining pool? Yes, certainly that is possible. I think it's extremely unlikely. Then uh, Penn and Teller say, I've heard that there's a user activated soft fork if we don't hit 1815. What Penn is alluding to here is that this speedy trial activation process 
is intended to be speedy and be a quick trial of whether there is enough support. If by August it has not activated and the voting period ends in August, if by that time it hasn't been activated, the community has shown readiness to try alternative activation mechanisms, including a user activated soft fork, which is almost like a boycott of the miners where users reconfigure their nodes to simply reject any blocks that are not activating, that are not signal and activation to kind of force the miners. I honestly don't think that's going to be necessary. But of course, just having that option available to users puts enormous pressure on miners. And they don't want to get into a power struggle against users because last time they did in Segwit in August of 2017, they lost that power struggle. They had to capitulate to a potential embargo. So there, there's a chance that simply the threat of a user activated soft fork will be enough. Can I help somehow to reach 90%? No, this is a minor activation right now. So unless you're mining or running a mining pool, really, you can't, you can't really help to reach 90%. Stand by, give the miners a chance to do the right thing. And if that fails in August, then there will be some things that users can do. Those users who are running nodes that have economic activity through wallets can actually then start voting with their nodes in the form of a user activated soft fork. Hi, thanks for watching the video. I'm Andreas Antonopoulos. I'm the author of Mastering Bitcoin, Mastering Ethereum, and the Internet of Money series. If you'd like to support my mission of bringing education about Bitcoin and open blockchains to as many people as possible under open, free Creative Commons licenses, please consider subscribing to my channel and supporting me on patreon.com slash A-A-N-T-O-N-O-P. Thank you.